If you search for one of the fastest and easiest ways to get money, you'll find dropshipping among the options. Minimum effort, little to no money needed to start, no risks and results straight away are among the promises they make. As someone who is constantly looking for ways to improve my life and with a wedding coming up soon, I knew I needed to give it a try. All right, so here's the deal. I need money. I'm getting married this year and my savings account's been going down incredibly fast. So I was mindlessly scrolling on YouTube when I found a video from Jordan Welsh, hope I say correctly, where he becomes rich in 30 days. At the end of the video, he gives a seven day free challenge. Here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna try that course. And after I try that course, I'm gonna launch a store and I'm gonna see how well I do. So I sat down and watched this whole seven day course in one go. Took notes and absorbed more than four hours of hopefully valuable information. So I just finished watching the course. I took my notes. I have two pages full of notes. And basically I will be setting a budget of 500 bucks which is quite a lot of money for me, I have to say. Um, Dogmar, if you're watching this and I lost 500, I'm sorry. I think you're gonna be mad. But on the other hand, you need to take some risk to win some. So hopefully at least in the next, at the end of this challenge, I recover the money. And I will be following exactly what they say what he says I should be doing exactly. I took my notes. I'm gonna be rewatching the course again as I need information. And I'm also gonna join Viral Bolt. Viral Bolt. Sorry for my wrong B. B. Where they find apparently courses. So 500 is gonna be my budget for everything. Luckily, okay, yeah, he has some referral codes, so. I'm getting also like some cheap things like Shopify for one dollar for three months, which is great, I guess. And um, yeah, let's give it a try. I then joined Jordan's Welch community with the intent to find the winning product. They had a seven day free trial, so I definitely had to give it a try. I found the first product which I want to try. And I actually found it on Bolt. I've seen it before online and I know that it's a product that a lot of girls, women, would like to be using. The product is sort of this exercise hip thrust that you can put weights on the side. Yeah, I guess it's time to set up the store and give it a try. Here is where we sit right now. Just spent my whole day creating, finding the product, creating the product page and creating yeah my Shopify store. Now I just need to create the content and start promoting. I'm gonna go for a fill booty it's called. It's a hip thrust belt. I've seen it before and I actually found it cool. So then I was like okay I'm just gonna try it, give it a try, see how it works. I saw that people were selling it for $60 so I'm gonna be selling it for half that price and Hopefully, we get a few sales. Uh, let me show you the page, look how it looks. So, this is my logo, feel good, feel booty. We have a sale of 50% on the website. Feel the burn, love your booty. And then the belt, this is the product. And if you want to, here you can see the product itself. how it works, and then some uh, reviews from people of the product, which these are actual reviews, so that's actually pretty cool. So now let's get popping, let's create some ads and see if we get some money. Here's where I'm at. I created the website, I finished creating the website, everything looks sick, and I gave it two days for me not touching anything because I wanted to feel yeah feel it I wanted to see whether 
I thought this was still worth it, whether this still was gonna be yeah, worth my time. It's a lot of money I'm gonna be spending, so okay. I didn't wanna lose or just waste my money. And then yesterday we were driving back on the car with my girlfriend and I saw and I thought, hey, Valentine's Day is in one month. Why don't I set up a store selling Valentine's Day products? So that's what I'm gonna do. See whether how that works out actually. And uh, from the moment I launch the store, I'm gonna give it seven days, then 15 days, and then until the day of Valentine's Day and see how that works out. So I'll be selling, I think, necklaces. I've seen that work before and uh, I think it could do good. So we'll give it a try. I then went on the search for a new product, supplier, and build a new branding for my store and a new page. I finally found my winning product, or that's what I thought. Man, this drop shipping thing is not that easy as I thought. Spent the whole day yesterday um, setting up my new store, uh, trying to find the suppliers, trying to find a new product. And I literally spent the whole day also creating the ads. I was ready to launch today. And then I realized that my TikTok account payment, for some reason, was not working. Payment was not working and I didn't know why. I did it on the wrong account, so then I had to create it again. I just created them again. And now I'm getting waiting for my, yeah, my ads to get approved. But in the end, I'm going to be trying to sell and push for three main products. The first one is a necklace that opens and it's a heart. Then the second one, and it's also like a lucky charm thingy. The second product is a necklace to my loved one, my soulmate, uh, and there's like a message. And the third one is a men's chain. Um, and the reason why I chose these products is because I've seen them work. And I've seen that I can get footage without having to order the product first hand because that's something I don't have right now. The time to wait for the product and order it and also to wait for yeah, to wait for the product, order it, get the make the ads myself. If I see that the products are working, then I'll order it and create my own. But for the time being I'm just seeing what yeah, what product would actually work so hopefully today the ads get approved we go lunch and hopefully some sales start coming in i'm also not gonna be spending 500 euros how i thought initially because i found that too much for myself right now so i put 200 euros on ads and i'll be setting up a budget of 500 uh, sorry 50 euros per day and I can show you now all the ads and how I'm doing it. Um, and hopefully that works, gets us a few cells we can recover and then push up. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let me show you the ads. I went for three ads and I had to get the footage from yeah other people. Other ads, other people, other creatives. I just hope that they get approved and that they work. So this is this is the first one. I cried nonstop after my man gave me this for Valentine's Day. It reads, to my soulmate, the day I met you, my life changed. You have this incredible way of taking me to another level of happiness. Order now and get 50% off and free shipping. Yeah, sucks, right? But it's just to test the product, see if it works. I got the first part from another necklace type of thing. And the second one is just a picture and uh, I used Adobe Photoshop and generative fill to create like some flowers. The second one is this one. Make your man cry with us on Valentine's Day. Okay. 
Hey, thank you. It reads, to my man, I may not be your first date, your first kiss, or your first love, but I just want to be your last everything. Order now and get 50% off and free shipping. Again, another picture. Um, I saw that these guys were selling a similar product and uh, it worked the ad, it was really working. So yeah, again, I just used it and um, it's just to test the product. Um, I mean, if it works, I'm gonna really order it and create it myself. Um, again, a picture in the middle. And the last one okay. was this one. Let's talk about how perfect this gift is. It's so beautiful. It brings luck and love. So this is it. It is literally so pretty and sparkly. It's like a folly clover, and then it does just open up into the four hearts. It is just so, so pretty. I love it. Get it at Love Charm. But honestly, it is the most beautiful necklace. Order now 50% off and free shipping. So this one, I think is the one I'm the most proud. Um, the songs I use are all like covers, so hopefully it works well. And um, I had to say, I hope they work. We'll see. Now, for my TikTok ads, I'll show you again. I grabbed these from the seven day challenge from Jordan Welsh. And so I hope he did it correctly and I hope it works. And I also saw another guy that he referenced and this guy did the same. So I created a chain CVO, which is just like, um, you select the budget and then you select the ads. And I created a bunch of ad groups just to try. Now they're in review, so they're not working. The first one is for my lucky charm. The second one is to my man. And then the last one is to my soul. Apparently if you create a bunch of groups and basically they're just copy. So I created three different groups with three different ads and then the ads have three different Label. So if I click, like for example, to my uh, the like charm one, and then I select it and seeing it, it's one with three different call to actions. Let's say <clears throat> the budget is fifty euros for the whole day, and that will give me enough to hopefully if I make one or two sales, I already break even and I make my money back. My initial costs so far are for Shopify, I use a code and I got three months for one dollar. Then I use a Trust Tool, which is a reviews app, lets you yeah, have the stars and reviews on the store, which provides confidence. And uh, that one is $9.99. Then I bought a domain for some stupid ass reason. And that one was like 15. Yeah, I cannot redraw it. Then I bought a one month subscription for AutoDS, which was 39.99. And then for ads, I spent 200, but then with VAT, I had to spend 242 for a grand total of 267 and 99 cents euros. So 268 euros it's almost three hundred dollars and that's my initial cost and i hope not to get lower than that once i recover that it will all be profits hope if any profits however there's something that i've seen and it kind of bothered me with this um shopify thing is well ads actually is that since my store is in the Netherlands, because I live in the Netherlands, I'm not allowed to sell in countries like Canada, US, Australia, and I'm only allowed to sell within the European Union and a few other countries in the Arabs. And I'm selling products that are for Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day, it's huge in countries like US and Canada. But in Europe, it's not that huge. So right now I'm actually targeting for the countries that I know spend the most, uh, for example, UK, I'm targeting that one. I'm targeting Norway that I know it spends, Netherlands, just default, Belgium, just default, and uh, Germany, I know that they spend a lot of money. So I'm targeting those five countries, 
hoping that it will work. Another we another uh, yeah problem that I found is that I cannot accept credit cards because I don't have a business registered. I cannot put as a payment credit card. So everything is PayPal, and I hope that people can actually and will actually decide to pay with PayPal. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I think there's gonna be a lot of people like, oh yes, I want it, and then they cannot buy it, and probably they'll go to another store. So in that sense, I'm not gonna get a lot of conversions or sales, but hopefully, yeah, PayPal works, and if that works, and PayPal works, and if this experiment is a success, then I'll open a company on my name and be able to receive cards. So today's day one, let's say. Um, I have a 200 budget for seven days. More, more like for five days, four days actually, yeah, that's four days. So 50 euros today. Um, actually, it's so today's day three of this challenge. It took me quite some time because I didn't know shit about Shopify and how everything worked and I had to watch a few tutorials. Um, so I have four days left to pump up my budget, to pump up my ads uh, on TikTok. And once that works, um, my budget is all taken and hopefully it works and we get a few sales and at least we recover the money. So we'll see. Okay, so my ads run for one day. I got zero sales and I decided to kill it, not to continue. I find it that it takes too much of my time for something that I'm quite sure it's not gonna work. I already spent quite some time doing this and um, I think just drop shipping is not for me. I mean, I give all credits to the people that spend the whole day researching products and spending money and are actually successful out of it. But for me, this is, doesn't work. It's not, it's not for me, at least not at this point. In the end, I ended up spending 68. Uh, yeah, 60, 60, 60 euros. I got 2,193 impressions, 121 clicks to destination, so 121 people actually went to my website. And I think the big problem here is that I can only accept PayPal, so then in the end when people go and see the product, they just not... Yeah, it just doesn't convert, they just don't buy it. I do think that I have a quite okay product because I've seen it work. Pricing, it's undercutting other competitors and the website looks quite okay. So yeah, it didn't work. <clears throat> so yeah, it didn't work, it doesn't work for me. I can show the campaign on how everything, the ads, there were some a few that were actually working. Um, got like 1,500 impressions and then a click-through rate of 3.7 yeah I got quite a few 0 0.9 uh, 0 0.7 0 0.9 1 so it was working and the CPM was not that high I think CPM was at the lowest, yeah, zero, the highest 14, and total costs, the ones that did the better spend the most. In the end, I just didn't make any money. I lost, and uh, in the end, I will be losing 93 and 99 euros. So, dropshipping is not for me, and... And for those that know a little bit more, here are my CTR, clicks to destination, CPM, total costs, descending if I go 3.7, 
and the ads that did best in based on the click through rate were the ones of the pendant and my soul i think those were the best ads i, I mean the ads i think they were quite okay i think just the problem was that of the having to pay with paypal in the end the campaign did a cpc of 0 0.5 60 euro spent cpm of 2 impressions 2000 clicks to destination 121 so that's a 0 0.5 click through rate as you can see zero conversions so yeah I mean, I've always seen these people saying, yeah, dropshipping is a shit, you're gonna get rich, you can get rich really easy, um, it's never too late to join dropshipping, you can get rich from getting the right product, but in reality, I think it just, just takes too much of my time in order to be able to work with this. Um, also time that I don't want to spend in investigating and learning and things like that, I'd rather do something else that gives me a little bit more joy. I find that dropshipping is more about making the money than actually having fun with it. Okay, yeah, you do have some fun with analyzing but and creating the ads, but for me not per se, I'd rather be making videos and doing something more about my mind and my, my body and um, just try to find different ways of making money and yeah this i have to say was a failed experiment in the end i lost almost a hundred euros but it could have been worse so 